Today I'm going to draw a frog in charcoal. Now, to be completely honest with you, I actually haven't used charcoal in about 20 years. One of the things I don't like about charcoal is how messy it is and you've got to fix it with a, a fixative um, or hairspray or something. You've got to, it just gets on everything. So it's sort of messy, which is why I tend not to like charcoal. I mostly use charcoal just to sort of mark out a painting before I paint it and then just paint over it. But I've um, got some charcoal sticks here. I'm going to give it a go. After 20 or so years of not using charcoal, let's see how I go. Messy stuff. Five bits. A slightly thicker bit. I'm just going to gently break that in half. And I'm ready to start. It's going to mess your fingers up a real lot. So I've got a cloth ready to wipe my fingers. And some people have charcoal holders, something that will actually hold charcoal like a clutch pencil, if you remember what a clutch pencil is. Okay. The great thing about this is I'm going to use my arm sweeping around like that. I'm not going to be resting it like this. This gives you a very tight detail. This is a whole arm movement. And so here I go. Just going to pop in just a little few guidelines here. So I'm drawing the frog I saw the other day. Just to make sure it fits in your here to start with. Because this stuff is almost like using ink, it's uh, just putting down very gentle guidelines like this. And now it's about being bold with this. And also notice the way I'm holding it too. It's no good being timid when you're using this stuff. I'm being probably a lot more careful than I would normally. And you can see the froggy shape just starting to take place. There's some room for corrections. It's probably not the best subject for what I'm doing here because uh, I'm, I'm doing lots of fine detail on this when usually charcoal is a really quick, fast sort of a, a medium. At this stage it's very important to look where you're going to leave your white. This is really important where you, you've got a be very careful of not putting your finger where you don't want to smudge. Now an alternative to smudging with your finger is if you just use the charcoal very lightly, like I'm only just touching. And that sort of gives it sort of a grey tone as well. Probably a nicer grey tone for the sort of bumpy, warty frog thing that I'm drawing here. Had a rub out a mistake. Just I take a bit off with the cloth. That lightens it. Then I erase it. Still a faint mark there. Now you can see why I try not to use the eraser. When you're drawing a frog, it's probably important to try and get these eyes right. They just really bulge up out of the head so they can stick above the water just like a like a crocodile but when they eat something and it's really interesting these two what you see like giant eyelids here actually press down inside the head to help crush an insect so it's an almost dotted line to start with and then just add a little bit just build up the shadow very very slowly 
putting the final touches on this now. I'm actually putting in the dark bits. And the great thing about charcoal is that you can go really dark. Probably where it has a slight visual advantage over pencil. And that's probably much more graphic. You can get really nice blacks. Whereas with pencil you only get sort of a darker shade of grey usually. And there's my drawing. Well, the sort of uh, surprisingly fun to work with. Uh, I might actually have to revisit charcoal because it gives you much more intense black than say just pencil does. Um, so yeah, I do like the finished product. I'm just not sure where to store it now because usually when you've got something like this, if it's good, you're going to have to frame it. I suppose you could store it by putting a bit of tissue paper over it. Um, as I say, you know, get a fixative can of some sort, some art fixative, some varnish that might sort of stop it from smudging. But apart from the smudging, it's really an awesome medium to use. I'll see you next time.